Hey guys, how you doing? Triple Rec here, and today I really wanted to share with you an amazing well, spot for farming Glimmer and Engrams, which of course you redeem at the Cryptarch on the tower for randomized gear. And uh, this is the best way uh, to get that the, those higher level, you know, the, uh, the, the green or uncommon level gear, which is currently the best that you can use in the beta. So if you wanna get your guardian uh, to be the best that he or she can be, this is the fastest way by far. So you're gonna go into explore mode and you're gonna follow this, uh, this little route that I'm going to get to the area. You might remember this spot from uh, the, the opening mission. Uh, it's nighttime of course then and you come out to my right uh, from the wall. Now that big ship spawns in and it's kind of crazy but you're gonna go back here uh, into this little narrow uh, path and you pop out here which is where you spawn for the devil's layer strike and this is where we're gonna spend most of our time um, we're gonna go in a loop right so we're gonna start here and we're gonna pretty much go in a, in a huge circle or, a, or an oval rather um, in this whole area and we're gonna I'm gonna show you all the spots where um, these loot chests can spawn and uh, the way it works is that um, for any given area there's going to be a handful of chests at all times so every time you pick one up it's going to spawn immediately somewhere else at one of these other spots so you, know, you can almost just stay on your sparrow the whole time ignore all these enemies and uh, just exclusively farm for glimmer if that's what you want to do and in say like an hour you could get 10,000 or more uh, glimmer which is uh, pretty dang good and a lot better than uh, playing any of the the, uh, the missions or even the Devil's Lair Strike. So uh, each chest will give you 120 to 150 or so Glimmer and sometimes it gives you the low level like uh, common gear which you can usually just decrypt and get a little more Glimmer because those are not the best. You want the, you want the green uncommon level uh, items because those have upgrades and usually a little bit better stats. So. You're just gonna check a lot of these uh, these dead end rooms here, these dark rooms. These are the spawn points for enemies, and these are always gonna be a, a potential spawn point for a loot crate as well. So a lot of these spots I'm gonna be showing you are these these little spawn rooms, but some of the locations are not here, and they're kind of other little random places that you're gonna want to check as well. So try to try to follow this route as best you can, and it's gonna maximize. Uh, you know the amount of glimmer that you're gonna find uh, this little area here where, where the servitor is uh, will sometimes spawn like uh, some higher level fallen the uh, ones with the the uh, the yellow health bars and if you kill those they uh, they will also sometimes drop the the house banner item which you can redeem at the tower for an extra 200 glimmer each so and this is another great spot to keep an eye on um, if you're just farming for engrams, then you're not going to be following this route per se because you just want to kill all the enemies in this area. And the other reason that this area is so great is because there's so many enemies. Lots of hive, lots of lots of fallen, um, like the high level uh, hive knights, for example, are here as well. And every time you wipe out one uh, kind of area of enemies and move on to the next, by the time you get back, the, the new wave has already spawned. So there's pretty much a never ending amount of, uh, of baddies to kill. And uh, while there's not exactly a, a formula for um, you know how often that they drop the engrams, it's pretty often. And it's, it's definitely the quickest way to get those, uh, you know, given the amount of time that you're putting in. So basically that's, that's the route. We're pretty much back to where we started. And you can just keep doing this as much as you want. Go round and round circles, farming for Glimmer, just uh, go after the enemies, get a bunch of engrams. Uh, like I said, I got most of my good gear and, uh, and stuff just from doing this, and it did not take me very long at all. And I, honestly, at this point, I'd say that playing the Devil's Lair Strike to, to, to get gear or glimmer is, uh, is nowhere near as good and it's probably a waste of your time. So try to stick to this. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching and uh, you know, hope to see you on the beta. Have a good time, guys. Peace.